Well, an inmate has overdosed from fentanyl at a South Georgia detention center. The facility in Irwin County where this happened is a former ICE detention center. The center can no longer house immigrants due to allegations of unnecessary uh, gynecological procedures happening to the inmates there. As WLB News 10's McKenzie Petri reports, drugs are something that the sheriff of that county says will only get worse if not addressed appropriately. 45-year-old Marcus Washington was found dead from an overdose at Irwin County Detention Center this past Memorial Day. Irwin County Sheriff Cody Young says the inmate had methamphetamine and fentanyl in his possession at the time of his death. He says they are unsure of how he got these drugs, but there are many possibilities. Drones will fly over and try to make drops in the rick yard. And then, of course, you got guards, you know, guards from time to time. Uh, get caught trying to smuggle stuff in because they're getting paid big money to bring contraband in. It's definitely an issue uh, with contraband getting into facilities, that's for sure. But Sheriff Young says there's protocols he's trying to implement to reduce the amount of contraband making its way into the facility. I have assigned an investigator to stay just at the facility full time to work on stuff like that. I also have two canines that any time they want to run them, they can call me. We'll run the employees' parking lot. We may run their uh, bags inside. Uh, from time to time, we'll move the inmates out to the rec yard and run the cells. Research shows that overdoses are the third leading cause of death for people in prison. The Georgia Department of Public Health says in part, quote, this is why it's important to think twice even as a recreational drug user because so many drugs are being contaminated with fentanyl. Fentanyl is a huge concern, not just in our area, but across the country, end quote. I reached out to LaSalle Corrections, who oversees this facility through email and by phone, but was unable to make contact. Mackenzie Petrie, WALB, your hometown news source.